the sweetheart pension deal, the seven action news investigators exposed that has Wayne County Executive Bob Ficano looking for an escape route. Today, seven action news investigator Ross Jones caught up with Ficano to ask some very tough questions about how his former aide is poised to become a multimillionaire. Bob Ficano was in no mood to talk this morning, but we still had plenty of questions for him. Even though he says it's a new day in Wayne County, well, things seem to be running just as they used to. With a steel drum band playing at an event along the city's riverfront this morning, Bob Ficano faced questions for the first time about his 41-year-old former aide set to collect a huge pension for the rest of his life. But make no mistake, our questions weren't music to the CEO's ears. What do you want, Ross? We were here to talk about Matt Shank, his former chief of staff, who left the county last year for a $194,000 a year job at the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department. But starting this summer, Shank is due to start collecting even more, an estimated $96,000 annual county pension. It's part of an early retirement deal that Focano's team created. Should Matt Shank be drawing a $96,000 a year pension? Ross, that's between him and the uh, retirement board right now. The county CEO could not get away fast enough this morning, even though the press conference he was here to attend wasn't even ready to begin. Well, does it make sense that a 41-year-old would draw a $96,000 a year pension, sir? I gotta go. The event starts in 20 minutes, sir. Okay. okay. I gotta go. No time for an interview, he said, right before making time for an interview with another reporter. You'll remember Wednesday after 7 Action News exposed Shank's pension deal, Ficano's deputy CEO Jeff Collins said the deal should have come with an age restriction. If we had to do it over again, then age requirement is something that, um, something I would recommend. Why was there no age restriction? That's the way the deal was structured. They gave it to everybody and they had a certain amount of time and limit to it. Jeff says he regrets that. Do you? At this point, things are different in 2009 and 2010. Ross, that's all I really have to say on it okay. right now. Is Mr. Shank being greedy? Ross, why don't you go talk to him? We have. I'm okay. talking to you now. Is okay. he being go greedy? Go talk to him. I, Ross, I really haven't got anything else to say on it. off on the deal. Is it greedy? Ross, I'm not going to say anything more, okay? To qualify for the pension deal, Matt Shank had to purchase six years of county time for $440,000. That's money he'll make back in about five years. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Okay, Ross, thank you very much. Well, you can count on the seven investigators to keep digging for new information in the Wayne County scandal right here on 7 Action News on air online at our website at WXYZ.com.